What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So generally on this channel, I talk about careers that have higher than average salaries. And the reason for that is because it's generally gonna be a good idea for you to go into a job or a career that has a good salary because even if you end up being average, you're still gonna be making a very nice income. But some careers have higher upsides than others, meaning the ceiling for the career in terms of how much you can make is going to be a lot higher. And if you're in a special especially ambitious person, somebody who could become a medical doctor or something along those lines, there are a lot of careers out there that could be really good options for you. And of course, the first career on this list is going to be a professional like button smasher. Smash, smash, smash. No, but seriously, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It does help a lot with the algorithm. Thank you so much. The real first one on the list is going to be a CEO or a chief executive officer. And basically what this is, is somebody who runs the entire business. They oversee everything within a corporation or an organization, but they don't necessarily own it. So for instance, someone starts a business and you know, after 20 years, they want to retire. Well, they want somebody to come in and run the entire organization for them. This person is going to have to be exceptionally hardworking and skilled and sales and leadership and all kinds of other kind of intangible skills. And therefore they're going to get paid a ton of money. And the range in pay for a CEO of a business is extremely wide and it varies so much. Could range from a couple hundred thousand dollars a year to in the tens of millions a year. And this is a great option for you if you basically want to be somebody who kind of owns your own business and you run it that way, but you don't want to start it from scratch. Now, the second one on the list is going to be just below a CEO. They're going to have less responsibility, but they're still going to have a lot of responsibility. And that's basically going to be a high level executive. Executive. So an example of this one would be the vice president of a company, for instance. Now, they generally aren't going to make nearly as much as a CEO, for instance, but depending on which company you're in or which industry you go into, they can still make a ton of money and they don't have nearly as much responsibility as somebody who is at the very top. And again, the average salary is going to range a ton for this career, but generally you're going to see like low six figures to even up into the millions. And this is a really great option for you to aim for if you're somebody who has leadership skills, you're very ambitious and you're driven, but you don't necessarily want to be an owner of a business or somebody at the very top who is basically on call 24 seven. And this one will also be really good for you if you do have an inclination towards entrepreneurship, but at the same time, you really want structure in your life. So you want to have that creative freedom of an entrepreneur, but at the same time, you want to have kind of like an overall structure that you can work within. Next on the list is going to be software developers. And this is a really really versatile one and it's one that I recommend to a lot of people. Now the median for this one is over six figures a year and I think everybody knows that but there are certain jobs that you can go for that pay a lot higher than others. There's also certain industries that you can go into, places that you can move to, as well as companies that you can work for that again pay a lot higher than others. You know what? I need a raise. And if you look at the website levels.fyi you can see that you know companies like Facebook, Google, etc. they pay their software developers sometimes north of $500,000 a year. Now on top of that, there's a ton of demand for their work. There's also a lot of perks to the job. You know, Google pretty much spoils their employees, for instance. Overall, you're not going to make quite as much as the previous two that I mentioned, most likely, but it's still extremely lucrative. Now the next one on the list is going to be an information technology manager. And this one is great because it basically integrates the technology side of things with the business side of things. And you have to have skills that are overlapping and not that many people have those skills. And this is sort of a mid-level manager position, but you can still make a really good amount of money, oftentimes over $200,000 a year. And with the age of automation coming on, technology is a very good one to go into just in general. <laughs> But if you also add on a leadership position, like a manager on top of that, your skills are going to be extremely coveted by tons and tons of different companies, and therefore you're gonna get paid very well. Next one on the list is gonna be the good old entrepreneur. And I've talked a lot in other videos about how your chances of success are extremely low for entrepreneurs. And you know, there's a bunch of people on YouTube trying to sell you courses on becoming one, and they don't tell you that, you know, there's probably like a 5% chance or a 2% chance you're gonna succeed or if you get into a really good industry, maybe a 10 or 15% chance. 
Oh, I get it now. It's a scam. And on top of that, you have to wear like 10 different hats. You have to be on call pretty much 24 seven in case a client needs you even in the middle of the night sometimes. And the list goes on. Becoming an entrepreneur is extremely overrated for most people in my opinion, but the upside is also very high. You could potentially start a company, sell it to Facebook or Amazon, and then end up retiring before you turn 30. There's also the perk of being your own boss, which is extremely important to some people. So it really just depends on what type of person you are. And it's a really great option for some people. And I'm sure you know, there's entrepreneurs that make like 10 million, 20 million, $100 million a year. Wow. I think Jeff Bezos net worth is like a hundred billion a year or something at this point, which is just insane. I honestly don't even see how anybody would ever need even close to that much money, but I mean, that's just me. Next on the list is going to be a marketing, advertising and promotions manager, and then also a sales manager, depending on what industry you're in. And this is another one where you're basically combining two extremely important skills. You're combining kind of the business side of thing with potentially like say marketing, for instance, instance, then you're also combining the leadership and management side of things, which is still business, but at the same time it is in its separate category and it is a completely different skill. So again, if you are somebody who has both of these skills together, there's just not that many people out there who are able to have both of these skills and do it at a high level. So your skills will be very coveted by big companies out there. And depending on what industry you're in or what business you're in, this is sort of a mid-level management position, or it even could be almost like an executive position or somewhere in between, but either way, you know, you can make a lot of money. A lot of the time it's going to be commission based. So you might make $500,000 base and then whatever your commission is, you might end up making over a million dollars a year. But overall, this is a really good one to get into. And it's especially good if you're skilled in marketing or sales, and then you also want to learn leadership as well. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a hedge fund manager. And basically what they are is they are people who take other people's money and then invest it for them so that they can get a really good return. So an example of this would be Ray Dalio or maybe Warren Buffett. And so let's say you find a client and they give you a million dollars to invest and you make 11% profit. So you made $110,000 off of the million dollars in one year. You would take maybe 1% of that. So $10,000 for yourself. And then you'd give the $100,000 back to the client. And this is really good. And it's also extremely scalable because there's pretty much no limit to how much money you can make depending on how many people you get to invest in your hedge fund. The financial industry in general is a great one to get into. I've talked about this before in my other videos, and this is probably one of the top jobs that you can get in that industry. But overall, go ahead and check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Uh, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas you have on this video or anything along those lines. Thank you so much, and bye for now.